Uh. Good evening, good evening. This is Nerd Generation with AK News, AK Entertainment. Good evening. I am Tracy Spivey, or as we say on IG, Spivey4994. And I'm pitching it again tonight. I get a three day rest and, you know, every uh, in the rotation. But anyway, tonight with me, creator. Nerd Jin, that's right, we got him here, Pablo, say Fresh Milano, Pete, what's going on? What's going on, everyone, welcome back, hope everybody is staying home, staying safe, man, there's nothing else to do, but just stay safe and stay home. Sticks and stones will break your bones, there's a lot of other things going on here, than sticks and stones, <laughs> I think we already know that, uh, I, uh, I had my first personal, uh, the lightning struck uh, today, and you know, we're coping, we're dealing with it. And we're just telling everybody, be safe. Uh, be safe and sound out there in these times. I don't know when this thing is, I guess, technically supposed to end. I don't think it's supposed to end even when we break the curve. But I just think going forward, as we know, life has changed in our lands for a little while. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a year or two to get over this, get past this. And hopefully this doesn't come down for a second round. But if, you know, we take the precautions, we make all the changes we need to do in our society, then we can go forward. And that was not a public service announcement. That was just us reaching out to everybody out there to know that um, we are doing these things and uh, we're conscious of everything that's going on around us and surrounding us. Pete, there's words out there that uh, Matt Reeves' rendition or uh, version of the Batman might be for the first time rated R. Now, correct me. Oh, I was going to say correct me if I was wrong, but I thought Dark Knight was rated R, but then I thought I have to look it up and say, no, Dark Knight was not rated R. But the prospect of a Batman film being rated R, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, if it did get an R rating before we start this conversation off, I would have to say it would probably be due to a heightened excel in violence. People what's your perspective on that, about Batman being rated R? I mean, I don't think it's out of the question based on the success that WB has been having with um, rated R films. Uh, Joker okay. being one of them, obviously, Logan on, on the Fox side. Uh, um, so the possibility is there. Um, I think more adding a yeah. few foul languages yeah, in, the, yeah. in, in there because it's more, it's more realistic when you're, you're dealing with criminals, right? You're not dealing with... Well, we would say politicians, but, but I'm pumped yeah. that would be a joke <laughs> or to the South. And if they could provide a, a Batman that feels more real, unlike we've ever seen before, it wouldn't be... I think it would be welcomed more so than looked, looked down upon, you know? I mean, we can look at all of the, uh, they call it the best we ever done it. You know, we talk, we start from, uh, Dr. J. Jordan. I mean, no, but that's basketball. But we, you know, the best we ever done it as far as making these Batman films. Um, not for nothing, a couple of things here and there. You tweak Tim Burton's Batman. Uh, Batman could have been rated R. Um, I just think that uh, Tim, Bur- Tim Burton's film is the prototype. But there was a couple of scenes. If they had a more a bigger a fight scene, um, if we look at Batman by Tim Burton, 1989, uh, if they showed a little bit more graphics of what the Joker was doing, what Jack mm-hmm. Nicholson was doing, it yeah. could have easily caught a rated R. It's mm-hmm. not that far to get an R rating. Yeah. It's just that you have they to pull cut it back real sometimes. close. That's all. They cut it real close. Oh, especially uh, the party scene where um, he said he was using rubber bullets. But it's funny how that disclaimer went out in the film. I guess that's why Tim Burton see it maybe in R rating or Warner Brothers see it in R rating, especially because that was supposed to be Batman and they were looking for the, the, the younger demographic. It is not that complicated to become an R movie in a Batman film, I don't I don't think. And it had nothing to do with Vicky Vale. It had nothing to do with I mean, they could have had Batman busting into a uh strip club. They could have had Batman you you, you know, they could have had some of the, 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 the gunshot scenes or some of the gang warfare. We actually seen some someone get shot in the head. Yeah. Cause, but you gotta think about this as well. When we Got into I got into he- Batman heavy, obviously in the comics, right? But 
super heavy, the Batman the animated film, uh, the animated uh, cartoon. Okay, that's well, when it the, really that's take when, a rendition of the yes, 1930s that, and 40s. That's, yeah. that's, that's when it really started for me. I mean, I remember Adam West uh, and, and, and and those times. I remember. I used to watch Five, it as a kid. The campy show, yeah. yeah. I can't watch that now. What I'm saying oh, yeah, is, it's kinda, yeah. what I'm saying is that we've grown up since that time. Yeah. Oh, and a dark night could have went rated R any given occasion. It's not that hard to go. I mean, not for nothing. When he st- when he threw uh, when he threw a uh, cow, I forget how to say his name. Uh, when he threw um, what's his face off the third floor balcony and he broke his leg. That was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that was crazy. Falcone, when he threw Falcone, no, it wasn't Falcone. When he threw Julia Roberts, Eric Roberts, Eric Roberts, Julia Roberts' brother. That been maiming people. What, what the hell? Rated it all. Rated it all. That hospital burning up and stuff like that. I mean, he danced around a lot of, this could have went rated it all a lot of different times, man. Um, so I don't find it far-fetched that um, Matt Reeves would take it there. Not so much that it's crazy. It's like, wow, this is like too violent. Not Superman over the top, Man of Steel over the top. <laughs> Not that. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, but that was that, that, that would never got a rate at all. That was just destruction of a city. And then they could turn around and argue, well, you do it with Godzilla. You, 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 well, you know what? Yeah. And like I said, us, we've grown up. So it wouldn't be too far fetched to see nothing over the top, but right there, a little bit edgier with 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 Pete, with the dialogue bit of, being a little bit more mature, um, and Batman not needing to have to curse. He's he's a he's a different animal, you know. He's a different. Oh beast. yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think those elements are the things that's going to tweak. To get that rated R, I don't think it'll be Batman huffing and cussing. No, no, no. It'll it'll be violence. I mean, violence was always the category that'll put Batman over the top. Like I said before, unless you have Batman swinging in to a strip club or something of that nature. Yo, at the end of the day, man. Listen, the Dark Knight was what it was because of Heath Ledger, right? Okay, yeah. And his performance of the Joker. It wasn't no, so no, much because Kristen, of Batman. Kristen Bell was the co-star in that movie. The star of that movie was Heath the, Ledger. He said it, not me. <laughs> all right, listen, hey, we all know what it was. Heath Ledger was the was the star. Christian yes. Bell, Batman was the co-star. Uh, yes. it, it was a complete reversal of Batman Begins, yes. where he, Batman was the star. But Dark Knight, he completely... I mean, that script, whoever wrote that script... This guy was seven steps ahead of everybody, which was almost illogical. This guy, but that's what I'm forget saying, about it. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Batman got to be the star. He's always been like, you, 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 you've you, always left more impressed with Batman okay, than anything yeah. else. You know, you appreciate the characters that give him uh, a little bit of a challenge. Because Batman fighting regular guys is not nothing that crazy. Yeah, that's right? a Hulk smash movie. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's two and a half <laughs> exactly. hours of Hulk smash. I mean, who wants to see that? Because <laughs> we all know how it's going to turn out. He has to come up with, with someone formidable, is all yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, and of course, I'm not speaking for Matt Reeves, and of course, we here don't have any type of insight. But I would assume it would have to be off of graphic violence that, you know, with, 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 this, with the standards and the margins... It, you know, with the standard and the margin, we see someone get shot in the head. You will get a rated R. Would that bother you if you saw it? No, I mean, I mean, but once again, who are you? Who are you making this movie for? I mean, this is not um, Zack Snyder's Watchmen, where you could have told me I would see Doctor Manhattan walking around butt naked during that whole movie. I had no idea. Like, wait a minute, whoa. When I first saw it, I saw the kid, the kids were sitting in the movie theater. I said, oh, I thought y'all thought it was going to be, <laughs> I thought y'all thought it was going to be Gumby, huh? Nah, this ain't a Gumby show. I said, okay, well. And then you see the, the mothers sitting there with their, with their uh, 9 and 10 11 year old kids and you're like, oh man, they got you. Yeah, Zach got you, right? Yeah. What I'm saying is, I don't know if it needs to go that far to be a rated R. I think 
going as far as language would oh, be Oh no, no, it wouldn't be language. Better. It would never be language. What? But not on behalf of Batman. Batman again, I don't think he needs to speak that way. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no. Batman would yeah, they're not gonna yeah, Matt Reeves wouldn't write, write the character out of the character. He was not gonna write the character. Yeah. But I don't think it'd be language. Um with with the other uh, uh, but but then I'm looking at the context of a movie having the other side characters or the villains saying flip and flurb and fly and flip and flub and, and it doesn't have any I mean you actually have to set scenes up like that but let me ask you this could you picture Black Mask cursing up a storm yes okay Ready but that's R? Black Mask character okay uh, they, but see something like that you might get it rated R I mean we look back I mean it's funny Batman to Star Wars I mean, if you mm-hmm. and I love those behind-the-scenes DVDs that we used to mm-hmm. get to see how they made these movies. The Guild used to give Lucas a hard time for any little thing. It was crazy. Yeah. They're like, wait a minute, what? Oh, you <laughs> had an explosion and we saw somebody fall over a terrace, rated R. What? <laughs> wow. I mean. <laughs> Not for nothing, let's go back to Tim Burton's um, Batman. Nicholson, mm-hmm. when they did the scene in the uh, museum, the, the hand goes up, the, the grappling gun goes left, the grappling gun goes right. We saw people laying in the dinner area. They were dead on the table, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, what else? He just knocked them out, or they were, like, literally dead. I, I think they were possibly dead because of the gas, right? Yeah, I mean, so now you got... I mean, de- people murder. definitely died during the right um, during the parade. Yeah, so then you got yeah, then, yeah, you got mass murder. You got mass murder it's, going it's, on. Yeah, <laughs> but, it's, it's, but, it's, it's, but it's but it's you know with the smile, it's more fantasy more than 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 sort of real life situation. You know what I'm saying? It's like you more said, let's see what let's see what Reeves is going for. But because I always think no matter what, it's in the content of a two hour and some odd minute film. So mm-hmm. not to, you know, talk about Uncle Bill who's now Uncle Bill who's now doing a pill. Foot flower, mm-hmm. flop, fleen, flur, flurp, yeah, you can't, mm-hmm. I mean, what's the content of it? Like what and if he gets yeah. John Turturro doing that, playing uh, Falcone yeah. Falcone, Falcone will probably cut a little bit. Listen, yo, yeah, but let me tell you this, and disagree if you don't concur. The cast for this film is, to me, magnificent. Yeah. And speaking of John Turturro playing Falcone, yeah, that works. All you got to do is read a Batman Year One, Frank Miller. <laughs> Come read on. that, and then you look at it and say, wow, this is, wow, this is, wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Matt Reeves did his homework. There you go. There and you know go. what's so interchangeable? And we're talking about Matt Reeves, uh, the Batman. The part of Gordon, I think the uh, fact that you gave it to Jeffrey Wright, is it will, it will, you, won't, you won't even notice that, I mean, I, I, this sounds crazy, but the race, the race switch, you won't even notice because Jeffrey Wright mm-hmm. still pulls off who Jim Gordon, the essence of who Jim Gordon is to Batman. Yes. And Jeffrey yes. Wright comes off as that Commissioner yes. Gordon, I'm trying to make the city, but I honestly, I need help. And this vigilante, yes. and I don't yes. question him, but I trust That relationship him. has always, I love the relationship between Gordon and Batman in the animated series. Love oh, it. yeah. Yeah. Because, you know... To live, He's the only one that actually trusts him. The rest of the people in the department pretty much would probably, you know, yeah. lock him up. Yeah, they got close to it with Gary Oldman and Christian Bale's Batman. They got close to that relationship. Yeah, it, it, it looked very good. It looked very. It looked yes. good. Yeah, it looked very yes. good. So, and that's why I said you can pull and put in Jeffrey Wright, and you won't miss a beat. You, you will not miss a beat. What I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm seeing. Fantastic performances for this film. It's really that's why I'm excited. I'm not excited about what I've seen so far. I'm not excited about that. What is this gonna give me more than just the look? I know the look is gonna be dope, 
but the story and how this goes is what's more important to me. The only thing I like Colin Farrell, I think <laughs> what's the name should have still been a penguin. I mean Ooh. that that was that was a lost opportunity right there. Who? I don't know what him? happened. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Maybe it was a couple of bucks. I, I mean, I don't know I, if Jonah Hill could have pulled that off, man. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if Jonah Hill could have pulled it off, because the Penguin is some sort of like aristocrat, isn't he? Yeah, he's an aristocrat, but Colin Farrell, six Jonah one, Hill. good looking. I mean, you you know, I mean, who knows if they fatten him I mean, up a little bit? Fatten him up a little bit. I think he could do a stellar job as long as he looks or reminds you somewhat of the pet. I don't think he has to be some sort of deformed thing like it like it was for Danny DeVito. They, Colin, Colin Farrell in Batman, they would literally have to turn this movie into, and I, here's another comic book movie that gets no props. They would literally have to turn that movie into Warren Beatty's uh, Dick Tracy, where they took Al Pacino, they took a couple of guys, they put the prosthetics on, they didn't CGI it, they put the prosthetics on, you didn't even notice that was them, but Al Pacino mm -hmm. and Dick Tracy was awesome. Yeah. That movie gets no props. Or maybe <laughs> because, unfortunately, fortunately or unfortunately, Madonna was in it, and maybe that took away from the fact that Warren Beatty, wearing that yellow coat, yellow hat, he pulled it off. Yeah. I mean, at a time where the only other movie exactly like that or different that actually came off was uh, was uh, the, the 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 Shadow, mm -hmm. with, with Alec Baldwin, another underrated but a very yeah. fast tempo movie. But as far mm -hmm. as 1990s superhero films, it, mm -hmm. it was almost like Sam Raimi. The Shadow yeah. was almost like Sam Raimi. I mean, it was almost like Dark Man. It was almost like Dark okay, Man. That's what I was thinking about Dark Man. Yeah, you would, you would think Dark Those Man. Those were rated R. That's that was with um, Liam, ne Liam Neeson. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dark Man was, was it rated Dark R? Yeah, it was rated R. And why? The, because he murdered people straight up. He shot him in the face. Shot him in the head. Oh, but uh, hey. I'm telling you, Rated R can make a big comeback with Batman if they do it right. If they don't go over yeah. the top, over yeah. the top to me is a uh, uh, upgrade. John Wick was Rated R. Y yeah, John Wick is excellent. at. Look where John Wick is at. at. John Wick is Look excellent. Where is um, at? If Bat, if Matt, if Matt reads the Batman is in the tune or venue of John Wick. Yeah. And do you give it a rated R? Okay, no problem. Was anything outrageous? Matter of fact, there was no nudity in uh, John Wick. And then now that you go through John Wick, what could they have possibly give it a rated R? Oh, they had to give it rated R because of the violence. Yeah, the violence. There was, no, it was, there was nothing sexual. There was nothing... No, no nothing sexual. Perverse. Or, no. Just graphic was, violence. And, and plus, they were criminals. They were, they were yeah. organized criminals. I mean the best but, but, hotels, the but best. The argument, I mean, you could be, the, the argument that could be made that it doesn't have to go rated R because they can make it so that Batman or other criminals aren't like gruesomely killing each other, right? Because you know, yeah, if Matt Reeves does it with some sophistication, yeah, yeah. So it, it's, it's a possibility that it may not be PG thirteen, but if it were a rated R film, it wouldn't be again. Something like Upgrade. It wouldn't be over the top. Not even not, not even having to be like John Wick. Some of the Batmans that we already had could have been rated R. Even Batman Beyond had some type of elements that you could push the envelopes of being rated R. I mean, it, it, it's all a matter in perspective. And just the way that it's really not the same thing, but if you look at the planet mm -hmm. of the eight movies, I don't think Matt Reeves is going to throw things in just to get that R rating or he, he, he doesn't do wantless graphics. He's that, that's not him. He's not that type, you know, just to do it, just to say you, you can do it. No, I don't think that's the issue. I mean, the planet of the eight movies are very calculated. Um, mm -hmm. the planet of the eight movies, while some people mm -hmm. said they look like hunger games, mm -hmm, I said, mm -hmm. I see where you say it looks like hunger games, but no, not really. Planet, mm -hmm. planet of the eight movies were different. They really were, but I don't in think the aesthetic. That, you would you would say in the aesthetic of a, an apocalyptic type overturn. I mean, you got apes riding mm -hmm, horses. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
Like, you mm-hmm. know, you got... Hey, but we got that in the, what, in the 60s? Oh, yeah, well, no, no, no. 70s, but I'm, I'm talking about that as far as that Matt Reeves, from the way he works, I don't think he'll just, mm-hmm. as far as the Batman's concerned, will do things that it'll make it a rated R just to make it over. Yeah. He doesn't seem like that type. Yeah, so you so you're sticking with a PG thirteen, right? It, it's not, I, it all depends. If he needs an element in there to emphasize something, but then I know the mm-hmm. guild will put the they'll stop the the R rating on it in a heartbeat. Yeah. I think this movie we're gonna get those characters, those villains flushed out. Mm-hmm. Um, Two Face, Riddler. Riddler, I think, is going to be dope. Yeah. How's he going to do this in two hours? I mean, that's always, that's always a joke. I only got two hours. Say, I only got two hours, kids. You guys want a lot. You'll be here for like five hours. And, of course, the two hard fans. Oh, give me everything. I'll sit here. You'll be yeah, able to. You can't do that. Movies got to run a certain mm-hmm. time to make, you know, to make the money. It's, it's, it's called show business, boys and girls. Yeah. But I think what's going to make the film stand out will be for the especially for all these villains that you have you practically have almost you know most of this important villains in there other than the joker if he appears right yeah uh so you got quite a few villains i think the conversations will be very very important oh the exposition it'll, they'll flush out a lot yes. of the exposition and then they'll flush out that yes. universe yes yes but just due to the fact he said Matt, we, we're getting a Robin, we're actually going to get a Robin. Now, yeah, I mean that. I, 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 Matt Reeves has a, a he has to really think about, and I'm probably jumping the gun here, but if this turns out to be what we think it will be, there's a bright future for Matt Reeves if he decides to want to helm or begin. That part of the, of that universe, you know? and if he does, uh, but that's 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 thinking too far. Ahead. Yeah, and, and I'll put it our little fan favorite. You got to put William Defoe as the Joker, man. Come on, this is this man's last <laughs> chance. Let him be the Joker. I mean, once the world gets back on track, give William Defoe that Joker. When they made him the Green Goblin, I said this man should have been the Joker. I think he played a great Norman Osborn. Yeah, oh no, he was, yeah, oh no, he was William Defoe. He was great. We're gonna see, we're gonna see what Matt Reeves' Batman universe looks like. Um, I think once again over at DC, you get to operate and do whatever you want because there is no connect, there is no connective tissue. Uh, little sidebar, that's why we can have, uh, The Rock says his Black Adam could beat the entire Justice League by, I mean, what? <laughs> what? But you know what? Hey, he could say that because, you know, he probably can do that in his movie because there's no nothing over there. Hey, did you hear that, April Fool's, that uh, Jason Momoa didn't want to be Aquaman? People lost their mind. He quit? I mean, you're in the billionaire club, yeah. man. You're in the billionaire boys yeah. club. The only other guys up there right now was who? Robert Downey Jr. And now Tom Holland. Mm-hmm. Uh, even... even th- Chadwick, Bo- yeah, Chadwick? Chadwick, yeah, Black Panther made a bill, and uh, that built boy stuff. Even Thor hasn't made a bill. Civil War made no, a bill, Thor so Cap, bill. but that was Cap and Tony. So Chris Evans that's, is up there. That's Avengers, uh, uh, that's Avengers one and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Civil War, well, half an yeah. Avenger film right there. So yeah, and when you put that, right, the Jason Momoa quit. I mean, I would look at, I would look at uh, Warner Brothers, AT and T, say, man, just please sell this. Because this is now crazy. You know, we spoke about this earlier. The next Justice League animated film is the end of it. Man, what is... I mean, AT&T, just sell it, man. You don't want to be bothered with it. Just sell it. But, you know, I was talking to some other heads. They say, Trey, they're not going to sell it. Okay, they don't want it, but they're not going to sell it. Maybe they're gonna they're gonna license it out. So you mean AT and T is gonna want to do what Marvel had to do in the nineties because of the bankruptcy? Are they crazy? Yeah. Do you see what Disney had to go yeah. through to get that stuff back? Yeah. Why would you do that? Now you're gonna yeah. license. This is an opportunity yeah. for those studios to to really get a hold of 
a, a fantastic IP and 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 could resurrect it beyond anything that we've seen before. I you mean, know? Universal would buy the DC film property, and Legendary would be putting out DC movies. I mean, you would see a whole. Listen, that universe would get straightened oh, out God. so fast, it'd make your head spin. Yeah. But let's see what yeah. AT&T does. It. I, I mean, it's just sad to be, you know, and we're in the real world experience to see that they got the IP. I mean, AT&T, you, you, you own Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman, and you don't want it? What? <laughs> yeah. That's... Think about that. Think about that. They're going to hold on to it because this, at the end of the day, that's leverage. That's a, piece, that's, a, that's a wonderful piece right there to have. But you're not helping, even Anga said, you're not helping your property diminishing it with bad films and bad. That's why the, that's why you say what you want. That Disney Sony thing is, listen, the bottom line is we can't have Spider-Man in bad films. And that has nothing to do with Andrew Garfield. Mm -hmm. It was the fact that Sony was making these movies and they were rendering diminishing returns. How about that? We mm. cleaned it up. We, we, yeah. we real PC. And then uh, Mobile said, let me do this, let me do that. They did. And finally, for the first time, it's funny, the first time ever, Spidey made a bill. When we thought, remember this, we thought a Spider-Man movie two to three years later, we thought it's going to be overkill. The public's not going to want to see it. The public got all on board. Why? Because he was in the MCU. And that, let's keep it real. That was the hook. He was in the MCU. Now Spider-Man could actually be with Captain America... I am at, I mean that was the draw. Yeah. So, you know, sidebar from uh Matt Reeves the Batman, but that's where that went. And I just think the rate a rated R Batman is not impossible. I don't think it's damaging and I think it will be rendered because of the violence. I mean, we look at Doctor Strange. That movie was barely PG thirteen. I think somebody did get gutted. <laughs> Right. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He would yeah, I, he would I, I, cut yeah, people yeah, with yeah, the yeah. yeah. He would cut people and yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like you would look at Doctor Strange and you would have thought it was a straight up Disney film. Yeah, I, I mean that's kind of messed up us to say. Yeah, you kind of think that this was a you know. <laughs> I, I mean, it seemed like they were just putting their toe in the water just to see how this might work because that battle with Dormammu mm -hmm. at the end was kind of eh. lackluster. Uh, it was almost as bad as the. Uh, I wasn't afraid yeah, of the mamas. Yeah. mamas. You know, that's that's the thing about these villains. You really gotta feel something towards them. I mean, you cannot not care. It was almost as bad as when I would tell, and I love her to death. I mean, she she I love her to death. But Patty, they had no money for the end of Wonder Woman. I mean, what the heck was? This? <laughs> it almost looked like a video game. I caught the third that, eye. That, it still don't hold up. If you've never seen it before, and you're one of those people who will watch it, and you've never seen it before, you'll watch it. You'll think this movie was horrible. <laughs> yeah. The, the drama and the acting saved that movie. Because, yeah. and, and Patty, I know it's sad. I know, you, I know they took care of you the second time around. But that first one, they didn't give you no money. <laughs> Dang. You were almost on par with the first Captain America, the first Avenger. And she said they did yes. it. They, they, she said they based it somewhat on Captain America, the first Avenger. Because you had to. They said you had to do it that mm -hmm. way. But that, like you said, that it was third a act. Piece. That third act was, ugh, man. Well, this is the way I see it. You know, Captain America's first Avenger was good. But Red Skull wasn't the menacing villain that. Oh yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, he wasn't a monster. He wasn't the monster because they didn't have time. That movie was short. Captain yeah. America first. But then, blue. then you get Captain America the Winter, the Winter Soldier. Oh, that's. I mean, I'll watch that's, it from that's, beginning oh to end any day of the week. Top three all. Time you decide which ones that's number one, or one two. for me. Still number one. Infinity number two, I mean, Endgame number yeah. three. Then Iron Man. I mean, Winter Soldier was everything you thought. I mean, like you said, I I watched it a couple of weeks ago, and it's like, 
Damn. And let me tell you something. There was nothing more scarier than Bucky. He was a machine. Terminator. He was a Terminator. And you and you thought he's gonna yeah. kill everybody. Well, he can't kill Cap because it's his movie. <laughs> but he was gonna kill. He gonna kill everybody. This guy is scary. Yeah. yeah, he certainly was. He certainly was. And when he kicked the guy into the propeller, you could have got a rated off for that. <laughs> there, there it is. You could have got a rated off when, but you could have got a rated off for that. Just like yeah. that, boom. Oh, he was. He <laughs> listen. You got to call John Wick for him. You got to call him for John Wick. I mean, just unbelievable. When they say to Rocky, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> look at him. Awesome. <laughs> they just look at him. Awesome. It's scary, man. Oh, my God. I mean, yeah. So uh, this is Sp- this is uh, Tracy Spivey, Spivey4994 and IG. I'm signing off. Thank you to Nerd Jen for letting me pitch this game. Pete? Um, nah, continue to listen to the podcast, share it, man. I know people are killing time trying to find good content or trying to just pass the time. Why not listen to us? If you're, if you're definitely a fan, like we are of the superhero genre. And a special shout out to, uh, some guys that, uh, me and, uh, Pete know over at Afro nerd radio. I'll give a shout out to those guys. Oh, yeah. And a shout out to those guys, the Freedom Series. He would like to get back out there. He's putting some stuff up. He would like to run around Brooklyn, but he's got to be careful. He can't go to the park. He might get arrested. (laughs) (laughs) You can't run around Brooklyn in the park. But anyway, I'm signing out. Thank you. And good night.